lesson learned here do not engage assassins in the very early game if you don't have to because that death did not have to happen I could have left that thing alone and we would have been fine but I had to show off and go kill an assassin for you guys so it's really your guys's fault not mine <laughs>Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival on Alpha 12.2. I am an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue our Let's Play here on the Swamp Planet. This is Episode 3. Before we get started, though, if you find yourself enjoying this episode, and if I entertain you, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you anything, it doesn't take any effort, and it does help the channel. If you uh, don't like what you see, please consider leaving me a constructive comment and help me improve. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I've spent probably, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half or so of real time off camera uh, doing stuff. So right up there where you see the mountain base um, bookmark, that is where our base location is. And I have four constructors, uh, portable constructors up there uh, right now, just cranking out fuel and making um, concrete blocks for our base. Um, I didn't have enough copper to make my generator, so I went out, oh shit. It's cold. <laughs> I went out and uh, uh, started gathering <sighs> resources. And uh, so we have a pretty big load. I almost have the hover vessel containers completely filled up. Uh, really close there. Um, and so we are on our way back to our base location to uh, continue working on the base. Now, uh, in the, um, the planes biome that I'm in here, there is cobalt all over the place. I mean, more cobalt than I have ever seen, um, you know, in, in terms of surface stones. And we, we have a ton of cobalt, so that's cool because that means we don't have to... Oh, shit, there's raptors. We don't have to go to the moon, make that real early trip to the moon that you usually have to do in this game to get the cobalt that you need to advance. Uh, so, yeah, there's sathium out here, uh, cobalt, silicon all over the place, just very this whole entire planet is just very resource rich and you know when they when they say don't go out into the swamp at night <laughs> that's not just a suggestion uh it is dangerous as hell in the swamp at night um we went over to um kind of into this area here where, where that nest is this is all swampy area here we got almost into xerax territory too in fact um it's interesting that the Xerox territory is to to the east of us. We'll have to keep that in mind in terms of where their attacks will probably come from, especially if the drone base is there. I'm, I'm, it kind of sucks that they're that we're that close to them actually, but you know we'll we'll definitely deal with it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we went around the swamp. The swamp has um, neodymium in it, and it's got a lot of copper in it. And I found some more gold too. And it looks like looks like this planet actually has some gold deposits as well, which is interesting. So, uh, but yeah, almost everywhere I turned in that swamp, there, there was something that wanted to eat me. Um, there's a lot of those bipedal insect alien things that make that really annoying um, chattering, chitter, chittery chattery sound in the swamp, you know, and then of course the teller pods and all the other nasty stuff too. So it is very much a dangerous place, but that's good because when we are ready to do so, uh, and we're armed and all that, we can go into the swamp and start killing all that stuff uh, for XP and meat and materials and all that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and finish completely loading up our hover vessel here. And then we're going to go back to the base and get working on um, the, the very beginnings of our base. I also made my requisite tunnel um, that you guys probably know what I'm talking about if you've been watching me uh, for a while now. Uh, basically what I do is I make kind of like a, a backdoor access tunnel to all of my bases. So that way if the Xerox um, successfully hacked my core, I have a way uh, to get back in and recover. So I started that. Didn't finish it yet though. So we'll keep working on that too as we uh, go along here. But Sathium's not a problem. You know, Neo's not even going to be a problem in smaller quantities because it is in the swamp. It's just that the swamp is so so much more dangerous, you know. Out on the plains, there's a, there's quite a bit of raptors around, but otherwise there isn't really anything else nasty out on the plains. I have killed a couple of assassins, and I killed one of the, the alien insect dudes. 
the walking cricket guys. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell you you would you would cl classify or call those things. Um, and uh, and, oh, and a teller pot. I, ki I killed one teller pot. As far as our level goes, we are um 19% of the way uh left rather to get to level seven, which then that means we'll be able to make the normal drill and uh, move up in the world. But yeah, well, coal man, we have got so much cobalt, way more than I would ever in the past have had at this point in time in the game, this early in the game. All right, so this probably will pretty much fill up our hover vessel. I don't have, the one thing I didn't find a lot of was iron. I did find a couple of rocks. Uh, it is out in the swamp and it's in the forest and stuff, but didn't find a lot of that. But we're gonna have a big, big supply of cobalt, a big, big supply of silicon, a decent supply of copper, um, and, and some sathium too. So resources are abundant on this planet. I'll tell you what too, you guys, if you guys watch my, my snow biome playthrough, the snow planet, this place, aside from, you know, the dangerous creatures, which, you know, that is a thing, right? This place is a walk in the park. <laughs> I mean, compared to starting on that snow planet, it really is. It's just so much easier in terms of resources and getting around. I mean, I do get cold on occasion, of course. Oh, there's an assassin out there. But um, it's not a big deal, you know. It's not nothing like the snow planet start. Keep my eye on that assassin. He's probably going to come over here. Yeah, he sees us. Let's kill him. Dermal parasite? Damn it. That's not good. <sighs> Alright, well, maybe we'll have the stuff we need to fix that when we get back to the base. I don't think this does, does it? Dermal burn. Alright, well, I guess I guess we better get back now. We better get back. Okay, yeah, that's it. So this this hover vessel is completely loaded up. Every cargo bin what am I doing? Every cargo bin should be completely full. Let's just double check. So we got a lot of stuff in the fridge. Let's put this stuff in there too. Port side front is full. Port side rear is full. Rear compartment's full. Star oh, we didn't fill the starboard side front. Well, we, <laughs> we damn near almost did. Um, starboard side rear is full and top center is full. Yeah, you know, that's close enough to full. We better go because now that I have this dermal parasite, we're going to have to deal with that. That sucks. I, I'm, I never... I mean, I know this, right? Because I've used it a million times, but I've, I, I, it always seems to take me by surprise the super slow fire rate of the shotgun, especially the tier one shotgun. And so I don't, sometimes I don't time my shots quite as well as I should. And this game still has the problem. It seems to me like it's probably improved a little bit, but it still has that problem where, where you know, enemies can hit you from 10 feet away way further away than they should be able to based upon where their arms are. <laughs> oh, that's just a pangolin over there. Okay, so this is the tunnel that I started, um, you know, that'll be our, our emergency access tunnel right there. Uh, and the main reason I started that now is just because I needed the stone anyway to make the 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 blocks that we're going to build on. Ooh, I hope I can get up here. Yeah, I think we I think we can get up here. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, that was the steepest part right there. Hover vessels are pretty good at climbing mountains. All right. So let's go ahead and park up here. And uh, it's 51 degrees outside, so we are going to need to use this. So we'll just stand here and start offloading stuff into our main constructor. We'll put that in there too. How many bandages do I currently have? Okay, I've got 19 bandages. That's pretty good. 
I accidentally clicked on my energy bars. I had a whole stack of them in here, and as soon as you do that, then you can't put them back in, so that's why these are now on my toolbar. In fact, we better take one of those bandages, huh? I, actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's go ahead and just eat this now. And that'll give us a decent amount of health back and a lot of food. And then that takes care of the rest of our... We, we looted that off of the Heidelberg. Oh, I also found um, the Polaris, too, when we were out and about. So we stopped off at the trading station, said hello to our, our buddies. Well, they're not really our buddies yet, but they will be. So um, we'll work on that, too. I might go ahead and, and fast track the solo mission quests. Um, how much of that I'll show on camera, I'm not really sure, just because we've already done that. Uh, at least get to the end of Offworld uh, Grave and then, you know, pick up from there. Okay, so we have 240 blocks. Have a bunch of we should have a bunch of fuel in all of these. We're doing good on that. And uh, so now, I guess the first thing we should try and do is figure out if we can fix our dermal parasite issue. So if we go into here, uh, what we're gonna need for dermal parasite is none of that stuff. All right, what about this? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, this. We need to make anti-toxic ointment. So we need alien tooth, herbal leaves, and plant protein. I think we have all of that stuff. Let's look. Alien tooth. Oh, shit, we don't have any alien tooth. We got alien thorn. Hmm. It said it needed plant protein and herbal leaves. Crap. Where are we going to get an alien tooth? I'm trying to think. Um, I found, I found one, uh, what are they called? Creepies or whatever in the swamp. He might give us an alien tooth. I didn't kill him though, because there was a bunch of other nasties around too. The, the um, assassins, you know, give us the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, this stuff here, and this stuff, but it, they don't give us alien tooth. All right, well, um, this isn't good, because if we don't deal with that in 12 minutes, it's going to escalate and become even worse. I'm not sure what our options are, though. Um, there are some medical bays on the Heidelberg that if we could get one salvaged hole and bring it back to the base and plop it down we could use that to fix ourselves up that might be that might be our best option at this point if we can't come across an alien tooth somewhere crap okay think 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 how do we deal with this how do we deal with this let's um let's um go well let's go ahead and unload our stuff if, if we can make the medical bay thing work, we'll be able to fix ourselves even even if this advances all the way to stage three, assuming we don't die before then. So um, let's just continue on, but we will go as quickly as we can, but still get everything done that we need to do to, to work towards that. Okay, so what I want to do is, yeah, go here. Let's get, to, um, let's just start unloading everything. Port side rear. I want to put the stone in here because this is our whoop, this is our block building constructor. Okay. Port side front, port side rear, rear. Starboard side front. Starboard side rear and top center. I think that's everything, right? Okay. All right, let's get our generator made. So we want uh, base and components. We already have a fuel tank, and we already have a small constructor. 
Um, why don't we do one refrigerator too? Well, yeah, we'll do a refrigerator, a refrigerator too, and maybe one cargo box just to get started. Okay, so while that's all happening, we're just gonna get started here with um, a real s basic platform. I don't think we need to worry about the Xerax attacking us until we become hostile with them. Uh, so right now we're just unfriendly. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of lie low as far as those guys are concerned until you know we're ready to, to start mixing it up with them. Uh, that being the case, I'm going to just set my core down up here for now, but we will move it later down into our access tunnel uh, when we're ready to start mixing it up with, uh, with the Xerax. Okay, so let's put that there. And then what I want to do is we have to kind of stay by our heater here. Um, I could only hold like five of these at a time, and I don't have another container that I can put them into. Um, so I don't, I don't, I think the, the cargo boxes in here hold even less than my character can, which doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and we will, we'll just start by making this a, like a, um, seven by seven platform, two, three. For now, and then you know we'll we'll expand upon it later, of course. Ah, shit. Okay. Yeah, we're we gotta move here. Let's do one more thing of five for now. All right, now let's grab our equipment and put this back in here for now. Oh, it's still making the damn generator. All right, well, let's grab this stuff then. We want to keep the, the generator and the fuel tank away from us because uh, they, they uh, emit radiation. Again, this is all just temporary, just to kind of get us started. Uh, so I can see if I can get that medical bay and get back over here before we succumb. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and pick this up. And we're just going to walk over here. What's the temperature? 57. Yeah, still just a touch cold. I think, well, actually, I think, what can we handle? 59. Yeah, it has to be 59 before it's not too cold for us. Um, so... Let's take a bandage, too. Uh, fuel. We need fuel. Uh, now, we're going to need a container for that. I can I, I can I access the inventory of these with my drone? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, dermal parasite is... Four seconds away from escalating to the next level of that nasty shit. Um, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a multi-tool um, and a core. And then we're going to have to hot, hot foot it down to the Heidelberg to try and grab one of those medical devices and bring them back here. Actually, you know what? If we put the core down on the Heidelberg, we could probably just use the medical device right there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. But then we will bring it back. It, hopefully we can. They're really heavy. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, refrigerator's done. I'm just waiting for this container. Never a dull moment, eh? I probably should have left that 
assassin alone in hindsight, but that's not what happened, so we got a deal. Okay, so now, next thing we gotta do is we gotta grab stuff out of here. Uh, so let's grab the ingots that we currently have and all the component items and the promethium we're gonna need that too and then iron silicon and copper okay that's all we can carry at least the gravity is light here so we can just kind of leap over here All right, so this is going to be assigned to that container, and I want to make myself a multi-tool, and I want to make some multi-tool charges. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's get uh, the rest of this stuff moved over. We'll keep wood over here, and these constructors will continue to uh, do fuel for us for now. One minute before it escalates. Okay, so we should have this, and we should have some of those. Um, I'm just going to use all the rest of my Prometheum to make charges for now, because that's really all we, we need at the moment. Um, oh, I need to start... I need to start a... Um, a thingamadoodle. Whenever I say that, you guys are going, uh, can you be a little more specific? <sighs> a core. So let's cancel all of that and go here and go here. And as soon as that core is made, then we're going to take off. 15 seconds and then we escalate. <sighs> I know it would be easier to just let myself die, but I don't roll that way, you guys. I don't die unless I absolutely cannot help it. It's the way it is. So we will... Oh, shit. Now we got Indo Parasite and Infected Wound. Lovely. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you might end up dying anyways. That is nasty. Because, see, look at it sucking my food down. I don't think we can survive this. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be able to survive this. I mean, all I'm going to do is use up all of my food and all my bandages just trying to get to the Heidelberg. And then we're still going to die. So I think, yeah, I think it's too late. I don't, I think, whoa, shit. I think we did everything we could to, to make this happen, but it just didn't quite work out, so. There's our spawn point. All right, well, goodbye, cruel world. We tried. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> First death. Hopefully the only death, but I wouldn't count on that either. <laughs> Shit happens, man. Shit happens. Okay. Yep. Um, lesson learned here. Do not engage assassins in the very early game if you don't have to. Because that death did not have to happen. I could have left that thing alone and we would have been fine. But I had to show off and go kill an assassin for you guys. So it's really your guys' fault, not mine. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm teasing. That was my own stupid fault. No doubt about it. Okay. All good. Let's just keep moving here. So I'm going to put the multi-tool in three. We'll put the shoddy here. Uh, we don't need to carry that with us. Um, I want this food here and the bandages here. And I think that's all we need to put on our toolbar. We're gonna, we'll put the refrigerator down. But, you know, now we're not like in an emergency hurry either. So let's just put that there. And we'll grab all of the stuff out of the, the hover vessel fridge. What do you mean I can't use it? I'm standing right next to it. This I'm going to actually go take back over to the constructor. And, uh, and turn into meat and eat it. Okay, all that stuff can go there.
And I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to cut some more wood and keep that that fuel going. That's our source of fuel until we can find uh, some promethium. But we're up we're up to 93%, so that's good. So yeah, these guys are now full-time fuel makers and part-time food makers. Uh, for us, let's just eat those right now. And um, so now, what's our next move? I guess we could continue building out our our platform here. Um, you know, continue doing that until we run out of concrete blocks. Oh, yeah, don't stand on that thing. What the hell are you doing, man? Uh, what else can we do over here? Let's take a look-see. Can make gatlings now, which we could put on the hover vessel and then use that to go hunting. Let's make a light armor kit right now. And, you know, I still think we, maybe I'll go to the uh, Heidelberg, because we can salvage the... Uh, the armor locker, the medical bay, and... Maybe the constructor, if I can hold it. I don't know if I'll be able to carry it. It's going to be really heavy. We'll have to see. Uh, let's also make an assault rifle. And I want to make... three Gatling guns. We're going to need to make a armor... Uh, or an ammo controller. And let's go ahead and... Um, what am I doing? I'm going here. And I'm going here, and we're going to learn extensions, and we're going to replace all of the normal cargo boxes with extensions. In fact, if we do that, we should be able to grab that c constructor and bring it back. Let's move this over uh, to the base here. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to strip damn near every block off of this normal block as well as the cargo boxes and replace it with a bunch of extensions. So, how much iron do I have? That's what we're going to need the most of. we got 52 ingots and another 30 ore. So yeah, we should be able to make a pretty decent um, amount of extensions, I would think. That being the case, let's cancel these things for the moment and uh, get some extensions made up first. So I don't know how many I'm going to need. Let's do 20. We'll see. We'll see where that gets us. And then we'll go back to three of these. Uh, oh, we can make the harvest module too. Actually, yeah, let's do that first because then I can maybe take it out and get some wood while we're waiting. Then we'll do three of those. Uh, we're going to need some 15 mil bullets. So let's get, I don't know, maybe five. Let's be 500. Yeah, we'll start with that. And then we want to also still make our, our assault rifle. And we're going to need some projectile rounds. Uh, our, wait, no. We only need one of those. So let's do, there's output count of 50. We'll do 500 of those too. Okay, I think that's all we need to queue up for the moment. So, yeah, so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put more blocks down until I run out of the blocks that I have. And hopefully by that time, you know, this stuff will all be done. Then I'm going to remove all the blocks in the, the storage containers off of the hover vessel and replace all that stuff with as many extensions as I can practically put on there. After that, we will go back to the Heidelberg. And we will grab the armor locker, we will grab the medical bay, and grab the constructor, and bring all that stuff back and use it at our base. Uh, but we're out of time in this episode, so that will probably be um, the next episode. So we'll, we'll, I'll probably start the next episode when we go to the Heidelberg and salvage that stuff, and then everything in between uh, I'll just do off camera. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.